Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. We've got a dance of plasma on the sun, incoming items to monitor in space weather for the days ahead, the great solar storm at the end of the ice age, and a concerning proton storm story from the last two years that signals the pole shift. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star where we find another mostly quiet day. Still not seeing solar flares, solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are quiet, but we do have an amazing filament eruption to see, and there's another coronal hole coming. Let's start with that filament. It was coming over the northeastern limb and destabilized on the crown, surged, lifted, snapped, and depressed. Sequence unfolding here it will either grow back today or collapse entirely. Next. We're looking at the equator at that same limb. That's another large coronal hole, and unlike the one on the south now, this one will not miss us with the bulk of its solar wind. Eyes open for that next week. Hearing grumbles from the workers at JPL over this one? Silence. Get back to work, nerds. Anyway, I'm sure many of you have heard about this one, a solar storm above anything ever recorded 14,000 years ago. Now, they used carbon dating, which means that date has a 99% chance of being very wrong. Too old. And if I had to guess, I'd say about 12,000 years ago. Why? Because it was anywhere from slightly bigger to 10 times the Charlemagne event in the 700s. Now, while most solar cycles put out a solid X-class flare, the 1859 Carrington event was X-80. The 700s event was about X-200, which means this event 12,000 years ago was X-300 to X-1000, which also includes the energy range likely for the solar micronova which last happened about 12,000 years ago. Lastly, folks, we've got a story about cosmic ray secondary particles from the proton storms that maxed out the 2023 and 2024 peak marks. They say that secondary particles were detected at surface level in mid-latitudes. I'm sorry, but really? I considered that to not be possible until the magnetic pole shift was actually hitting mid-latitudes. Either everything they ever published about space weather is wrong, or... This is the bajillionth example of outsized space weather impact due to the fact that our planet's magnetic field is in trouble and stumbling towards its magnetic excursion now. Folks, come out to the ranch for one of the special days we've got on deck. Pole shift conferences, prepping days, and there's a major permaculture event all weekend long to end May and kick off June. We've got a Tier 1 expert. Come see us at ObserverRanch.com. And don't forget, Colorado Prepper Expo is coming in October. COPrepperExpo.com. Just a skip away from the ranch, and we are one of the sponsors. We'd love to see you out here. ObserverRanch.com, and we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.